Shout out to the LDBC. This your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the boxing clinic. Of course, one time for the one time afternoon, evening grind, of course. And um, Teddy Atlas, one of the straight shooters um, in boxing, trainer or analyst. Um, you know, one of my favorite guys just there to talk about boxing. Enjoy him very much. Um, Seth Golovkin hasn't improved in two years. And that will take it back to, what, uh, 2015? I um, think he arrived around that time from um, from uh, Europe or wherever he came from. Um, you know, has he improved? Um, no, 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 no. I don't think he improved. But I think a lot of people would be like, uh, you know, he used the jab versus David Lemieux. You know, he showed a lot of things in his game. Um, but has he improved? I think not. You know, He's 35 now, 33 years old, two years ago. I don't think it's much to improve on in his game at that point. You know, technically, in in, um, in boxing years, he's pretty much um, a mature dog, an old dog. Um, you know, I don't see any improvement since he got here. I don't see um, the wishful thinking about, you know, trying to make some defensive adjustments. Um, I understand that his offense is his best defense and, you know, and all that sorts of things. But you got to remember, um, in most people's minds, it seems like he's declining since he's fought Kell Brook. But Kell Brook and Danny Jacobs were the two best guys on his resume. So he's stepping up in competition, you know, if it's 34 or 35 years old. Regardless, he's moving up in competition. So he's tend not to look as good as he did versus those mid-level to average fighters that he did fight. Um, um, you know, I, I, I think he's improved overall his career. If you look early in his career, um, the guy that fought Kasim Uma, Gennady Golovkin, that guy, he didn't look how fluid he looks now. He looks hella robotic, hella stiff. Um, just a guy relying on power. You can tell that um, from the beginning of his career, he's worked a lot, you know, a lot on fluid uh, fluidity, um, a lot on, you know, repetition on cutting the ring off. I think he's 1A, 1B with Earl Spence, however you want to rank him. I think they're both number one. Um, of course, his job has getting got better since entering the professional ranks. Um, a lot of things have gotten better. He's supposed to get better with repetition. But, you know, being 33 years old and being 35, you know, boxers tend not to improve. They tend to decline, you know. You know, after that early 30s, now in his mid-30s, he's going to decline, in my opinion. And, um, I don't think, you know, it's nothing that he can, you know, really improve on to capitalize at this point in his career. He is who he is, you know, now. You know, I think Abel, you know, Sanchez has done an amazing thing with his career, um, taking him to the next level. Um... And, you know, people wouldn't know that if they didn't follow his career and go back and do film study on his earlier fights. He doesn't look like this. He looks like a totally different fighter. And I'm not saying that he hasn't improved, you know, since getting the professional ranks. He's improved from 0 to 100. Shout out to Drake. But um, it's day and night from when he can be turned pro until what he is now. Um, even if he isn't improving, according to Teddy Atlas and, and myself, I'm agreeing with Teddy Atlas. I think he has plenty enough in the, in the, uh, in the tank to to do away with Danny Jacobs in a rematch, to do away with um, Canelo Alvarez, and um, to do away with anybody that challenged him, even Jamal Charlo, anybody, any foe that, that dares to step in the ring with him in the next year or two. Um, I'll go as far as three years. You know, I think he has plenty in the tank and plenty of arsenal to beat anybody. I think he's way more than power. And people will say, well, he improved with David Lemieux. Look at the jab. I mean, David Lemieux, I'm not impressed with him. You know, he's a all bronze, no no uh brain type of fighter. But, you know, Golovkin's men had the jab. He's just showing you different facets. It ain't that he improving. He different fighters bring out different, you know, um attributes in you that you can show. It's always been there. You just don't, you know, pull a jab out and use it one day and say, Oh shit, I worked on this jab for eight weeks. Look, look, look how good it is. No, your jab just don't get good at eight weeks. Anything doesn't just get good in one training camp. It's repetition and continuing to work at it. And all those tools he has, he probably has tools that, you know, other, you know, people haven't, haven't seen him because you haven't followed his career extensively like uh, a lot of guys had that I talked to when I went back and looked at the film. I'd say he definitely have improved, has improved. But like I said, he's more than just power, man. He's, he's a guy with a variety of punches. Uh, Mark Murray can attest to that. You think that, um, you know, he has a good left hook. You think that the right, you know, you rather live and die with the right hand. He hits you with the right hand. You know, got a good jab. You rather, you know, try to slip the jab. He got a good uppercut with both hands. You say, okay, I'm going to cover. I'm going to put the peekaboo on and wear him by my head. He can bang to the body. You say, I'm going to try to box this guy. He looks slow. He's going to cut the ring off and apply pressure. 
And, um, you know, you're going to say, I'm going to try to go after this guy and put him on his back foot. He can use the jab. So, I mean, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you're a Golovkin hand. I'm not. You know, I gave him credit on many occasions. People have selective hearing. I'm not a fan of his body of work. But his talent is definitely pound for pound. It's just he has to prove it versus another pound for pound type superstar type fighter, in which he's doing in September 16th versus Canelo Alvarez. And if he succeeds, there's no denying him that we gone.